Hair loss is often distressing, and it can affect on the patient's quality of life. Hair loss can be caused by several different conditions. We will discuss most common causes. Hair loss is called alopecia, regardless of the cause. The most common type of hair loss is androgenetic alopecia. The majority of men start to lose hair in the 20s, and androgenic alopecia is responsible on this hair loss in most cases. While women begin to lose their hair in their 40s or 50s. The difference between male hair loss and female hair loss is the pattern. Men generally lose hair in the front and the temporal region, it is called male pattern hair loss. While women tend to lose hair from the central area of the scalp it is called female pattern hair loss. Also, female hair loss will not end up with complete baldness, whereas male hair loss can end up with complete baldness. Male pattern hair loss is due to an excessive response to androgens. While in case of female pattern hair loss underlying cause is unclear. That's why we don't call it female androgenic alopecia. Androgenetic alopecia is gradual in onset and occurs after puberty. Treatment, there are two FDA-approved drugs for pattern baldness, topical minoxidil and oral finasteride, both of which require at least a four- to six-month trial before noticing improvement and must be used indefinitely to maintain a response. Minoxidil is a potassium channel blocker and widens blood vessels which hypothetically allow more oxygen, blood, and nutrients to follicles and promote the anagen phase. Finasteride is a 5-reductase inhibitor and therefore an antiandrogen. It works by decreasing the production of dihydrotestin, DHT, by about 70%, including in the prostate gland and the scalp. It is prescribed at 1 mg daily. Adverse effects of finasteride include sexual dysfunction, which usually reduces with time. Increased risk of high-grade prostate cancer because PSA is masked and detected later, and case reports of persistent diminished libido and erectile dysfunction. Finasteride is contraindicated for women with reproductive potential. Other drugs used in pattern baldness are not FDA-approved. But dutasteride is three times more potent than finasteride and often used on patients who failed finasteride. The adverse effect profile is similar to finasteride. In women, oral antiandrogens such as spiralactone are often used. Spiralactone is a very weak partial agonist to the androgen receptor, blocking the much more potent DHT and free testosterone from interacting with the androgen receptor, thus physiologically behaving like a direct antagonist. It also inhibits androgen synthesis and enhances conversion of testosterone to estradiol. Another common type of alopecia is alopecia areata is diagnosed by typical patches of hair loss and is self-limited. Alopecia areata is thought to have autoimmune bases. It is unpredictable and can reverse any time. Hair grows come back after a few months to a year. In cases with a greater number of patches, Hair can either grow back or progress to alopecia areata totalis or, in rare cases, alopecia areata universalis, resulted complete hair loss on whole body. None of the existing therapeutic options are curative or preventive. But limited success has been achieved by using the corticosteroid medications clobetasol or fluocinonide, corticosteroid injections, or cream. Tinea capitis another form of alopecia, causes patches of alopecia that may be erythematous and scaly and must be treated systemically. Tinea capitis is a cutaneous fungal infection, dermatophytosis, of the scalp. The treatment of choice is a safe and inexpensive oral medication, griseofulvin. Telogen effluvium is a non-scarring, non-inflammatory alopecia of relatively sudden onset caused by physiologic or emotional stress. Low D-vitamin can have some role. Once the precipitating cause is removed, the hair typically will regrow. Trichotillomania is an hair pulling disorder, characterized by a long-term urge that results in the pulling out of one's own hair. Treatment is aimed at controlling the underlying psychiatric condition. There is no FDA-approved medication but, treatment with clomipramine, a tricyclic antidepressant, was shown in a small double-blind study to improve symptoms.